this game, like, you know, just eager to play, but still trying to piece it together, but we, you know, took time, but eventually it definitely showed second half that we just, you know, played it around, you know, back and forth, and took our time, and then that's what led to our goals. Because, you know, the first win is always the best win. Well, maybe not the best, but it, it feels nice to get that first win over with. We have a really young team, um, you know, we're not we're not too big either, but, you know, we're really feisty and really quick and technical, and my expectations are really well, you know, for the season to play out, and I hope that, you know, we can excel more and play more like our second half throughout both halves. It's beautiful out. Come on, guys. That's different. First win out of the way too. Yeah, easy now. Get the flow of things going now. Start winning some games. What's your expectations for this season? I'm trying to make it to states again. Do the best I can. Are you kidding me? What an opportunity. Uh, we had the opportunity to come out here to John's showcase uh, last summer and we're incredibly impressed by him, the program and how he does things and obviously you know having uh, any opportunity to actually line up against 11 sound, sound players and an entire roster of their caliber is huge for us especially at this point in the season. A is a great measuring stick for us. Um, we know we're going to get tested um, but also it's, it's a huge learning tool for us to kind of go back home and uh, take a look at where we're at, uh, what they did very well against us, where we're a little vulnerable right now and uh, you know prepare as best we can the next few weeks uh, you know for October when it really matters. I think it was going to involve who, who was patient the most, you know, who, who could find, uh, you know, through the anticipation awareness of what was going on, the space, and, and be able to take advantage and execute into that space, but then also connect in front of two very good uh, keepers, you know, and uh, I think we did a very good job being patient, imagine the technical quality, imagine the decision making, and, and had a pretty balanced game in the first half. I think that we got a little bit vulnerable, and they did a great job engaging the space, running at us, and getting some numbers in front, uh, and, and creating some opportunities in some pretty dangerous situations for us. Overall, what did you think of Strongsville as a team? Oh, are you kidding me? I think they're fantastic. I think John and his staff do a fantastic job. I was impressed by all their ladies. It's probably, you know, I, you know, <laughs> maybe maybe the best team we'll see all year. I, I don't know, but uh, to, to, to see it at this point in the season was huge. Um, wish them all the best. Hope they can uh, repeat off of a great season that they're coming off of and just starting now. We got a little bit more confident. Um, this is a completely different team from last year. We're only returning three starters. So, and we knew, you know, we, we didn't have a couple of studs that could take our team on the back and kind of follow them. So we had to score. We're scoring as a team. We're developing as a team. So if you notice, we're keeping the ball down there and moving around more as a team. It was just the girls getting comfortable, I think, and finding who wants to rip it and take it. And, and uh, the wind helped a little bit, too. I like my patience from my center backs. Um, patience in the middle. My starting lineup outside midfielders did a real good job going back and forth because you know they their outsides obviously had a little bit more speed so we had to kind of sub a little bit more on the outsides um, and then up front the patience that, that we had in the in the second half. <laughs> 